This is a tour of my apartment. Um, I've lived in Shenzhen for, or China for 10 years now. And um, yeah, this is probably, eh, probably the best apartment I've been in. So I'm gonna start at the front door. I go out for a second. Neighbors, we fight with. <laughs> and the lifts, the elevators are on level 40. And it goes, uh, takes about uh, 40 seconds to get down to the ground floor. So into the apartment. I've got this kind of weird area that we've set up for music and stuff. Um, CC is fantastic on piano. I'm terrible on guitar, but I'm learning. Uh, but it's just a good little you know area for that sort of thing. And I don't know whether I should do like this. Maybe, maybe it's better like that. What do you think? Um, so yeah, but I've got to sort of walk backwards. Uh, the living area is here. No, actually, I'm not going to do that. The living area is here. Uh, we tend to eat and use computers a little bit too much on the uh, coffee table. Good TV, good storage here. Um, the dining room, dining table, which I don't particularly like, but it was already here. This is a furnished apartment. Um, we don't use that very often. We normally eat and do things on the um, coffee table. Another little corner here. Kitchen. It's pretty good. It's pretty big by Chinese standards. Um, we don't cook much. I won't pretend otherwise. Most of the time we just um, buy things um, from food apps that get delivered. For example, I've got my, my go-to meal for all the time is a sort of a protein vegetable meal that gets delivered for about five, four or five US dollars, 25 kwai. In the fridge you can see there's not really much there apart from um, some cold water beer in there <laughs> and not much frozen stuff. It's all because we just don't cook very much. We've got a microwave. You can see it's not even plugged in. We just don't really use it much. The previous owner to us, who was a friend of ours, she cooked a lot. So we've got a lot of sort of cooking stuff that she was using, but we just, yeah, don't use it. What I do use a lot though is our awesome coffee machine. So anyway, back to the tour. Um, through here is the laundry room. Uh, a lot of times the laundry, the washing machine is out on the balcony. Um, here it's got its own sort of semi-balcony in the back. Uh, this is also, as you can see, a drying area. My bike is hidden in the back of that. And then another... I've lost the screen. Another little room here, which I call the dungeon, which is basically a... a, a I mean, you can kind of say it's half a bedroom, but it's not, it's a storage room. I'm not exactly sure what the real estate agent would say, but it's just a really great, you know, utility room for it, putting all of those other things. And I've turned it into a bit of a workshop. You can see tools and stuff up here and a bit of a workbench. Looking out the window here, um, we can see probably better from the main bedroom window, but I'll, so I'll do that later. Um, but you can see all of our neighbors up there as well. So, yeah, okay. So that's the laundry area. Back through the kitchen. To our water bottle. Um, it's important to have water bottles here. These ones, they just, they just change over, they clean and change over the bottle itself. You're just buying the water. So they're pretty cheap. They're about two or three US dollars per bottle. So yeah, it's good. Um, because like China, like China, like most, um, Asian countries, I guess, and developing countries, um, you don't drink the water out of the tap. It's probably good enough, it's just still not a great idea, just in case. Okay, so now I'll go back to here and into the, kind of the, the other area of the apartment. It's a three bedroom apartment, I'll do these two rooms last, I'll do the main bedroom first. By the way, we're not normally this neat. <laughs> Okay, sorry for any messes like in the corner there, but I did tidy it up a little bit more than normal. We're usually a little bit messier than this. Um, but anyway, the main bedroom, the bedroom ensuite. CC mainly uses this one. I mainly use the other. There's two bed, there's two bathrooms in this apartment, and um, this is hers. Hello. These wardrobes are all for her. I've just said just take take all of them. She needs more wardrobe space than me. Now the, this window here I'm going to have a look out of because you can see 
part of the neighborhood down here. Uh, that's heading towards down there. That's heading towards the subway station. It takes about five minutes or seven minutes to walk to the subway station. There's a McDonald's down there as well, as well as a, a heap of Chinese food restaurants and things like that too. So it's good and accessible. Um, there's also fresh food markets and things that just pile up on the um, uh, on the side of the road and food uh, down there in that area there. It's all street food at night. They're cooking all sorts of dumplings and barbecue and all of that kind of stuff down there. Which we don't use that much because Meituan, which is the um, food ordering app, is so good we can just get everything we want from that. And I'll go into this bathroom now. This is the one that I mainly use. And yeah, the screen keeps going off after every minute or so. So you can see yeah, just a basic shower, a basic bath, uh, toilet, western toilets. And um, no bath in here. Baths are unusual in China. Look out my, I like this little window from the, um, from the shower. By the way, you can see just around there is the, uh, where, where Cece and I work, which is an international school. That complex there is brand new. Huawei built that. Um, it's all Huawei employees. You have to work for Huawei to be able to access that. They built this road and everything else like that to access it as well. Huawei's still, you know, with all of the stuff going on in the world, Huawei's still going ahead quite a lot in China itself. Uh, I'll go into this bedroom now, which is Cece's room. We turned the other two bedrooms into activity rooms. So this is Cece's. Hello. Hello. How are you? Nervous. Nervous? She's nervous about this video. Um, so yeah, this is her um, her room for just basically an office, really. There's an air conditioner in every room. The apartment's pretty energy efficient. And anybody who knows me will know that that's important to me because that's my kind of background, energy efficiency and um, climate stuff. And I'm very happy with the, um, how insulated this is. All of the, all of the windows are um, double glazed of course pretty heavily uh, the frames I'll just go over to them now the frames are aluminium so that's not perfect but the but you can see here just closely all of the glazing is double is double glazed and when we get home from work it's amazing how cool the um, the apartment still is even if it's um, smoke and hot outside but there is there's four air conditioners and this is my um, I guess you'd say activity room and it's all set up for uh, running treadmill um, and just some it's basically a sports room I run every day I run 15k or so every day and um, Shenzhen near Hong Kong that's the city that we're in Shenzhen is um, very hot for most of the year it's um, about I don't know it averages a bit over 30 degrees every day and just high humidity, about 80% humidity, and it's just a bit sticky. I just got sick of, especially in the summertime, just trying to cope with the heat all the time. Um, so yeah, I'm back out on the, on the balcony again. That's a new development. Apparently they're gonna be technology companies. I'm not sure exactly what that means, whether they're, whether they're mobile phone um, manufacturing companies or what, what that is, but um, this is basically the heartland of mobile phones in the world. It's a data center by, down there, by the way. Um, uh, and it makes sense, like the Huawei factory is, um, you can't see it from here, but it's around the corner. And then next to that is um, the Shenzhen Foxconn factory. So a lot of Apple products are made here. You can see the school that I work in over there, by the way, near that lake. Um, Foxconn are here, they've got a major um, factory as well as one of the major Huawei plants. I don't think the Huawei plant here is a factory though. I think it's more of a, it's a huge um, office and research and development complex. Um, so yeah. But anyway, um, just getting to numbers. This apartment, Shenzhen's an expensive city. It's one of the most expensive cities in China. In fact, um, it's a third uh, only to um, Shanghai and Beijing. Um, Shenzhen real estate is the third most expensive rent as well and this one costs uh, 6,800 RMB per month which is um, pretty expensive if you if you average it over the whole of China but for Shenzhen it's not a bad deal 
Uh, and that converts to about 850 or 900, actually I think it's closer to 900 US dollars per month. So um, the apartments that I was living in before here were like a third of that price, but um, this one's just, it's just nice. It's um, my, the school that I work for um, pays for it anyway. It's part of the um, salary package. So it's not a big deal um, for us. And um, yeah, it's comfortable. So yeah. That's probably all I need to show you or I can think of. Um, I don't want to go through, I don't want to go through, you know, each <laughs> door or anything like that. Um, so that might be enough for this. How long is this going for? Mm, yeah, about 10 minutes. All right, so I'll say goodbye. I'm going to turn around and say thanks for watching. And um, I might do, let me know if you've got any questions. I'm happy to answer any questions and I wouldn't mind doing a going outside and doing a lap around outside as well just to show what it's like to walk from here to the metro station or you know the food areas and all of that sort of stuff. I do a lot of running videos as you probably know um, to cover larger areas but for here of course I'm not going to run through my apartment so I thought it would be good just to um, do a walkthrough. Okay, alright, see you later.